Now, here's another question which we want to work on. I would want you to take a look at this question. Maybe try to work it out. I'll give you just a few minutes to do it. Now it goes, three points have coordinates A with coordinates 0, 7, B with coordinates A3, and C with coordinates 3, K, and K. Find the value of the constant K for which, on part 1, C lies on the line that passes through A and B. Then on part 2, C lies on the perpendicular bisector of AB. So we want to see how we can work out this question here. Now, like I said in a previous video, the best way to work out this, um, this coordinate geometric problems would be to start by making a sketch. So what I'll do here, I'll just make a sketch. Uh, it doesn't have to be accurate, but we just do it just to help us have a better understanding of um, what they want us to do. So. I have drawn a line here because on part one they're saying C lies on the line that passes through A and B. So this is the line that passes through A and B and C is somewhere along the line. So it can be anyway. So I'll just have my C here. Now A has coordinates 0, 7, B has coordinates 8, 3, C has coordinates 3, K and K. Okay, now they want us to find the value of k for which c lies on the line. The concept that I'm going to use here is that since a, b, and c are on the same line, or in other words, they are collinear, if I use any of the two points to find gradient of this line, then we should get the same value of the gradient. So we are saying that the gradient of a line, the line a, b, should be equal to the gradient of even we can say BC. So for the gradient of AB, since we have the coordinates already, we can use the change in Y of a change in X. So we can go 3 minus 7. That's change in Y divided by 8 minus 0. And this is going to give us minus 4 over 8, which is basically minus a half and for the gradient um, of BC we are going to do K minus 3 divided by 3K minus 8 okay so this is just going to be the gradient of BC we can't simplify uh, this further all right so we are going to equate the two so minus a half is equal to k minus 3 over 3k minus 8. If we cross multiply, we'll be having minus of 3k minus 8 is equal to 2 of k minus 3 like that. And we are going to have minus 3k plus 8 is equal to 2k minus 6 from simplifying the brackets. Now bringing the like terms to one side will be having minus 5k is equal to minus 14. Then dividing both sides by minus 5 we'll get k being equal to 14 over 5 which is the same as 2.8. So that's the answer. That's the value of k for this question here, part one. Now for part two, um, again, we are going to have a sketch. They say here, we've got two points A and B, and they're saying find the value of the constant K for which C lies on the perpendicular bisector of AB. So we've got AB here, and the perpendicular bisector, maybe this can be the perpendicular bisector. So, as you can see here, um, it's a perpendicular bisector. This is the perpendicular bisector. 
And according to the question, C has to lie on the perpendicular bisector. Remember the coordinates of C? We've got 3K and K. So we want to find the real values, the value of K, for which C lies on the perpendicular bisector. So what we're going to do is, we are going to start by finding the equation of the perpendicular bisector. And to do that, we will need two things. Number one, we will need um, a point, uh, a point on the perpendicular bisector. And this happens to be the midpoint of AB in this case. So we are going to use the midpoint here to be the point on the line. And we are also going to need number two, the gradient of perpendicular bisector. And to find that, we will start by finding gradient of AB first. That's what's going to help us find the, the gradient of the perpendicular bisector. All right, let's start by finding the midpoint of AB. So A has coordinates 0, 7, B has coordinates a3. So we are going to say 0 plus 8 divided by 2, 7 plus 3 divided by 2. And this gives us 8 over 2, that's 4, and 10 over 2, that's 5. So we now have the point. Then for the gradient, um, let's start with gradient of AB. Then using the two points, we will have 3 minus 7 divided by 8 minus 0. So this is going to give us minus 4 over 8. I'm sure we worked out something like this. So that's minus a half. So for the gradient of perpendicular bisector, it should simply be 2. Remember the product of a line and its perpendicular bisector should give us minus 1. So the gradient of the perpendicular bisector should be 2. So using these, we can now say y minus y1 is equal to m of x minus x1. That's y minus 5 is equal to 2 of x minus 4. That is going to give us y is equal to 2x minus 8 plus 5 and eventually this is going to be y is equal to 2x minus 3. Now to answer the question they say find the values of k for which c lies on the perpendicular bisector of ab. So if I move this a little to create space we are going to say with the line y is equal to 2x minus 3 if the point C lies there, remember the point C has coordinates 3K and K. So what that means is if we substitute this into the equation, then in place of Y, we put K. So K is equal to 2 off. And in place of X, we put 3K. Like this. So from here, K is equal to 6K minus 3. And we can say that 5k is equal to 3 and dividing both sides by 5, k comes out as 3 fifths. So k is equal to 0 0.6. So that's the final answer.